IKEA hack. And first I need to uh, build the cabinet uh, for my kids, the AI bar, uh, ready for a project, whatever it is you want to do to it. And I'm going to be building a bar cabinet that's going to be going in this section. Uh, so let's go ahead and build it. This is basically unfinished wood, ready for you to go ahead and paint, stain. First thing obviously I gotta do is build the cabinet. And I have my little assistant here making sure I am doing the project right. She really likes when I use the drill so I put her little hands around it so she could pretend she's helping me. So this part is fun. I get to glue on the trim work. Um, I did already pre-cut one of them so I could just see how it looks and how to apply it. And then I use these small clamps to clamp it down to add pressure, make sure it doesn't move or go anywhere. So I cut out a scrap piece of the same trim and I'm gonna use it as a spacer so I could just have that space. So now that I have my starting point, I'm going ahead and starting to cut the rest of the trim pieces that I need. And I just go one by one, uh, mark and cut and keep going down. So each trim piece that I cut, I add some wood glue and uh, glue it down to the trim using the spacer, making sure that it is aligned. Also important on this part, make sure you wipe off any excess glue. You don't want it showing when you go back to go paint. And now that I've cut a couple trim pieces, uh, the door should be finishing up. And then I just have to go ahead and repeat this process. So I'm finally on the second door and I am finishing up the last trim pieces. Again, repeating the process of measuring, cutting, and then gluing it down to the door. So finally I start painting it and I painted a nice light green color because I thought it was a good idea. But I ended up not liking it. I felt like it was too limey. It was driving me nuts. At first I liked it and then like I slept through it and I realized I really don't like it. It was giving me panic attacks. <laughs> it was keeping me up at night. I just felt like it was too limey and I was going to hate it and I didn't want to finish it and be like just to finish it. And not really be happy with it so i sanded it down um it only did like one coat because i wasn't 100 percent sure with the color i wanted to sleep through it as i was applying i ended up going with black i felt like black was going to be a much more elegant look um just because my house isn't very bright and colorful this would stick out like a sort of thing if i had a really bright house then i probably would have been more confident in doing a bold color. Yeah, let's go ahead and paint this cabinet. I'm actually going to be using the Rustoleum Painter's Touch uh, Paint and Primer uh, spray can. And satin is probably the best sheen for the cabinet that I liked. I'm always terrified to spray paint because I feel like it gets so close. It took about two and a half cans uh, to paint the entire cabinet. So here I am applying the stain color, which is in golden oak. I thought it was a super cute color that would contrast well with the gold 
legs and handles. This is actually my first time installing any type of wallpaper, so I'm kind of a little nervous. Um, I'm actually using this wallpaper, this geometric pattern. It's gold. I like it. I think it's really cute and it'll go really well with the cabinet. I got it off of Amazon and I will be linking it in the description as well. This wallpaper was actually really easy to install. You just peel and stick it right on. Then I just grabbed any card and used that to smooth it down. Any of the bubbles building up. When we get to the end, we obviously just use this blade and really easily cut it through. And then all I had to do was pull it back and it was super easy to um, cut off. Then I just added the second uh, piece of wallpaper to the other side. Now I finally get to add the gold leg and this was fun because you could actually see it come together. Then I just add the shelf. Now I'm going to install the um, wine racks. I'm so excited for these. These are so cute. I added some wine glasses just to make sure they were spread out evenly. They look good. And then now I'm adding the doors to the cabinet and finishing this project up. Then it was time to screw on the handles. I was a little nervous about this part just because I wanted to make sure that they aligned, but I was so excited with how they ended up turning out. They look so, so good. Now the cabinet is finally done. So now we're gonna go ahead and decorate the bar cabinet, fill it up and um, make it look cute. So I put these champagne glasses together, that way it could fit more uh, versus the wine glasses. I had only four fit versus six of the champagne flutes. And then I put my martini glasses um, there, I only put two, and then two uh, like um, whisk. And then I put some shot glasses that I have. And at the bottom here, I have some wines. These are signed. Um, and then this is from Hello Kitty and I love it because it's super cute. And then of course my crown, um, my husband's Grossman whiskey and then a couple other collections that we have. I am so excited with how it turned out. I really hope you liked it as well. I was super going with gold vibes. I knew that from the beginning of the project. The only thing I was not um, sure of was the color, the main color. And that's where I struggled. As you can see in the video, I ended up going with the green tone just because I really like a lot of the green, for, um, green colors and color scheme. But I'm not sure how I feel about it on furniture. I like it on walls. But I don't know about furniture and I was trying to do something bold, but I ended up not liking it. At the end of the day, if you're not happy with it, change it. It's just paint. Like, it's not a big deal. Lessons learned, but it's all right. I love how this one turned out. Black was the way to go. And I was even thinking of making all of it black. I am so glad I didn't do that. 
I, as soon as I saw the, the doors next to the cabinet while it was green, I was like, no, I'm keeping the doors a natural tone. I'm staining the doors, like whether it's black or if it stays green. And it looks amazing with it black. Like, I, at least I like it a lot. I think the gold goes really well with it as well. And then obviously this was like inspiration basically. It went with it and I'm so happy with how it turned out and how everything that I like envisioned in my head, it came out. Like I'm just really happy about it. And then also the cocktail uh, drinks. I really like these. I will be linking them in the description as well. Everything in this project, I will be linking it in the description. So either you want to try this project, if you do, tag me, let me know. I've seen so many Ivar IKEA hacks. They're just so, there's so many things you could do with them. You can different patterns with trim work or even just painting it like a, a fun pattern. That's why it was really hard because I loved all of these cool ideas and it was hard narrowing it down to what I wanted. And this is what I wanted and this is what it turned out. So I hope you loved it. Definitely subscribe to my channel for more DIY projects or decor inspiration. I will be posting uh, every week. So subscribe and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks.